First item that you need is either a first generation iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, or any of the first two generations of the iPod Touch. Please note that on all the other devices that I mentioned besides the iPhone 3GS, you can only jailbreak iPhone OS 3.1.3, iOS 4.1, or 4.2.1 this method. The second item that you need is a 30 pin cable. The third crucial tool required for this tutorial is a Mac running at least Mac OS 10.11 El Capitan or newer, although 10.12 or later is advised. Furthermore, I also advise using a Mac with include USB-A ports as dongles have a tendency to interfere with jailbreaking. The fourth tool that you must download for this tutorial is Legacy iOS Kit, which I'll have linked in this video's description. Oh no, and now answer some questions I know some of you have already commented. Firstly, Legacy iOS Kit is compatible with Linux, but I barely use builds of Linux besides Android and Chrome OS. Thus, I have no idea how this process varies on Linux, so if you want to use Linux for this, find a different tutorial. Secondly, Leg Legacy iOS Kit technically functions for jailbreaking most 32-bit iOS devices from iOS 3.1.3 to 9.3.4. For the procedures for jailbreaking newer iOS devices that I mentioned in this video in Legacy iOS Kit vary, and I have, haven't tried jailbreaking many devices in Legacy iOS Kit, so this tutorial isn't for them. Thirdly, if you run into any trouble, please check the comment section to see if anyone else has encountered the same issue that you have and see what their solution is. Whilst I'm glad to assist you, my time is limited and I'd rather figure out new issues rather than ones that have already been solved. Now it's actually jailbreak, so the first thing you need to do is you need to enter DFU mode, so make sure your iPhone is plugged into your computer. Then hold power and home button for 10 seconds and then keep holding the home button for 15 seconds or until iTunes or Finder detects it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as you can tell, it's going to go ahead and detect it. It'll say it's in recovery mode, but it's not actually in DFU mode iTunes and Fire just don't state the difference. So now what you need to do is you need to open up Terminal. So if you don't know where Terminal is, it is most likely going to be in your other folder. However, otherwise you need to search for it and then you need to open up your Finder. And then find wherever you've downloaded Legacy iOS Kit. Then open up Legacy iOS Kit. Then you want to drag this restore.sh file into Legacy iOS Kit. Hit enter. And if it asks you to update, just go ahead and hit update. I've already updated mine, so I can't demonstrate that. So now what you need to do is obviously enter for jailbreak device. Enter your current iOS version, so in my case, I'll enter 4.1. Just make sure to hit yes. iPonder, I've had more success with iPonder, so pick that. And yes, I am using, doing this on Intel Mac. All right, so now this will go ahead and begin jailbreaking, so I'll get back to you once it is done. Once you've gotten to this screen, then, then your phone should be done jailbreaking, or iPod should be done jailbreaking, and it will go ahead and reboot, so you can go ahead and close out of everything. Okay, and now, just like that, we have hopefully, we have all successfully jailbroken our devices, so did this jailbreak work for you? Please comment that down below. And this video is being made at the request of SammySpan649, so I want to thank him for recommending that to me. And as always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes fanboy, and as always, peace out.